cannot zoom in or out in this mode. Move it backwards a bit. Hello, it's another haul video. And I'm not in a haul. It's a haul, not a haul. Okay. Let's just clear that up right now. Looking very red and I don't know why it's... You can't white balance on a phone, I don't think. It may just be weird lighting, but I'm not this I'm pale. Anyway. So um, I spent £36 today, I think, um, on stuff and things. As me, this is my cat. She likes to sit on all of the things that I bought today. This is the cat with two eyes, as you can see. Two eyes. Two eyes good. Oh, she's my beautiful girl. Okay, so things that I bought today that I spent £36 on. Mm, should we do... Boring clothing first or boring clothing last? Let's do the not clothing first and then if you don't want to watch the clothing you can just stop. Hooray! So number one purchase Boom! is um mouse trap from nineteen eighty six. It is complete and it's got instructions and it works. The only thing it doesn't have is the elastic band but you know an elastic band. So I bought that for two ninety nine, which is a bit much for a board game really in a charity shop. I'd rather pay a pound, obviously. I'd rather pay ten p. I'd rather pay nothing. But you know, three ninety nine. I was very excited to see Mouse Trap because it's one of my all time favourite board games, and it's kind of cool. So I hope to get um, maybe about fifteen twenty pounds for that one. The next one was a bit of a fail, unfortunately. It was also two ninety nine, but I'd never seen this version of Cluedo before. Um, so I thought, yeah, it's worth a try. It was sealed in the charity shop with really old dusty sellotape, so I didn't want to open it up in the charity shop, and also I feel a bit rude doing things like that. But it's not complete, which is a shame, and even if it was complete, We'd only get about 10 for it anyway. So not entirely exciting. So I'll sell it as spares or repairs. As in I will sell it for say £7 delivered. Which will just cover my costs on it. And someone else can have the joy of doing stuff with it. I don't know. This one was a cool one. This I bought for a pound. It's an Horizon electronic computer type chess game. From Krypton. It has 2,521 settings. I don't know what for. It's chess. But anyway, they go quite well. And because it's got... It's in the box and it's got... Even though the box is a bit tatty. But it's got all the polystyrene around it. And all the instructions and everything. So hoping to get about £20-25 pound for that one. Which is alright, isn't it? Um... Oh, right. These I did spend a tenner on, but I just absolutely loved them and wanted them. So we've got bookends Morph, Pushing, and Chaz kind of leaning against. And I thought these were just adorable because I used to love Tony Hart. Um, and I, I just think they're super cool. So I did pay a tenner for them, so I paid quite a bit. But the ones that have been described as being in excellent condition, which these are, yes they are, have gone for about £25-£30. I don't mind keeping them on my bookshelf for a while because I quite like them, so they can hang around for a bit. I will make money on them eventually. They might not be the quicker seller, but I will. Um, I think that's all the non-clothing stuff that I bought today, so stop now. If you don't like clothes, because now we're onto vintage clothing or vintage style clothing. I bought a god awful uh, snake shaped bracelet. Mm, god awful. But it's sort of deco in style. The reason I think it might be vintage is because I know I, I don't look like I should have thin wrists, but I do actually have thin wrists. And this is quite small. This is a small bracelet, which makes me think that it's vintage. Although it's probably just from Dorothy Perkins. Who can say? But 
you know, it was a pound or 50p. Pound, 50p, can't remember. And then, okay, so stuff I got from the Bernardo's 199 shop. I got a pair of... These are cut-off denims, distressed, from a make called Police. Don't know why they're popular. I don't think they're particularly nice. But anyway, with summer coming up, Police jeans sell um, apparently quite well, okay-ish anyway. If you can get them cheap enough, you can make some money out of them. So looking for 15, 20 pounds on them come summer because they are, other than the distressedness, which is on purpose, they are in very good condition. Then I got a hideous shirt, a hideous shirt. Mmm. Mmm. It's so disgusting. It's so terribly 90s. But I think it's wonderful. It's by Your Sixth Sense, which is CNA, I think. Um, yeah, it's probably polyester. Ooh, I wonder if it's 100% polyester. That would be quite exciting, wouldn't it? So I paid one ninety nine for this, hope to get about £15. I can't see where... It's probably under there, isn't it? Viscose. Classy. Feels like silk, but it isn't. This is quite nice. This is an Alexon. 100% wool tartan skirt. This one I just checked on completed and sold. Uh, a couple sold for 99 pence because people stupidly put them on bids. I wouldn't. I'm going to put it on, buy it now with offers for £20 and see what I get. Again, this is one ninety nine. As me, don't you dare sit on the clothes. You're going to sit on the clothes, aren't you? She's a bad biscuit. Uh, also from one ninety nine shop, and don't judge me, there is a, a method to my madness sometimes is um, a bunch of granny jumpers and by granny jumpers I mean just you know types that your grand would have worn however these are actually quite good for 1940s land girl reproduction type things so I've got that pink one got this cream colored one these are all again all 199 I got a blue one with embroidery, a little round neck, I've got another cream one with cute little buttons on it, and one last one, pink one. This is probably the most authentic out of all of them, to be a 40s land girl type, most authentic one. But uh, hoping to get, say, about £12 each of them. Maybe a bit more for this one and one of the cream ones because they are a bit more authentic looking. So I think that was it from the one ninety nine 99 shop. And then there was a pound rail in Tea Haven. So this is just like a little caftan thing. It splits up the side. It's no particular brand. But... Oh, it's got a lovely charity shop smell to it. It's actually quite pleasant. Bizarre, I know, I know. But nice caftan. It's not handmade, but it's probably um, just a touristy thing from somewhere. And it's not insanely old, you can tell by the zip. But it is nice, and for a pound, festival season coming up, that should go okay. And then another hideous jumper, I think from the 90s. Or at least it's 90s looking. A Cosby sweater! A Cosby sweater. Almost a Cosby sweater. Um, if you know your um, slang, a Cosby sweater means something actually quite rude, so don't look that up. But um, it's very 90s, very, a bit kind of fresh prints. And then I bought two scarves, two silk scarves. I bought them because they were bright and colourful. And, and I thought, ooh, they're quite nice and bright and colourful. And then I brought them home and I got very excited because this one. Ooh, look, Chanel. And then this one, even more exciting, although I had never heard of it until I looked it up. 
is a brand which you can't really see there <gasps> that are called Chrome Hearts. Chrome Hearts. And if this was a real Chrome Hearts scarf, for one, it would be um, a lot more decorated than this. This is quite plain for them. It would have lots of like funky patterns on and stuff or pictures of naked people and things. But this is literally just pink with the logo on, which makes me suspect that it's actually not a, a real one, that it's a fake one. If it was real, I would be in the hundreds for this, which would have been exciting. But it's not, so never mind. And then this Chanel one is a very good fake. Uh, it's very similar to one that sold recently on eBay for £100. However, I cannot guarantee that it is real because wherever the label was, someone has cut it out. Which makes me think that that label probably said made in China rather than Chanel. So that is a shame. So these two scarves, I don't want to risk selling them on, on eBay as to what they are, but they are in themselves lovely silk scarves. So I might just keep them because... It says Chanel on it and I want to look posh sometimes. Hmm. Um, but yes, that's it. So I think totting, totting it up, I spent about £36. Hope to get probably just under 200 for the lot of it. We shall see. We shall see. Anyways, that's it for me. That's 11 minutes and something seconds. Way. Oh, those were your free jazz hands. Free for every purchase and people that watch. You can have them both sides today. Wow. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, bye bye, Noah. Bye bye.